Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am feeling all sorts of things today. I'm feeling nervous, I'm feeling excited. Um, I'm going for my first ever event in London today. I've been invited to go to the Karen Millen pop-up store. Um, they're having an event, um, it's running all weekend. Today is Thursday the 2nd of March, um, but today is exclusively for invitees only. This is the first event of this kind that I've ever been invited to. I've been invited to lots of like equestrian events and things like that before. I am a girl from the countryside, so I am I feeling so I am feeling a little bit nervous to get on the train on my own today, but just because I, just because it's something I don't do very often, especially coming back late at night in London. I don't know why my train gets back into Bournemouth at just gone 11 p.m. tonight. Um, I'm just gonna obviously I'll just surround myself with lots of people and I'll be absolutely fine, but um. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I'd come on here first and say hello to everybody. Now the sun is shining today. I don't know what to wear for my outfit, so I've worked with Karen Millen once before this video. Um, so in terms of Karen Millen items that I have, I have the beautiful dress that I wore on New Year's, which I bought personally, which is very New Year's party-wise. Can't wear that today. Um, and I have a beautiful dress from the Lydia Millen um, Spring Collection. But again, it's far too springy for the 1st or 2nd of March. Um, especially when, even though it's sunny outside, the temperature's... I've really dropped and I feel like this dress is much more of an occasion dress um like an afternoon teed kind of vibe so I'm not actually wearing caramel into this event so I'm hoping that's going to be okay I feel like I have an outfit in my head I'm going to run it through with you guys as well um see what it's like tried on but I want to be warm and I want to be comfortable obviously traveling two and a half hours per way each time as well on the train obviously coming back late at night it's going to be freezing so I do want to make sure I'm warm but I feel like it makes the day a lot nicer knowing that it's sunny also just use this. This is the MAC Face and Body um, Sheer Foundation. It's so stunning on the skin. I'm, I've underpainted as well. I, I ran that through on TikTok, but I underpaint with um, the Skin Enhancer from Makeup by Mario as my contour in shade light medium. Um, and then I use the Dior Forever Skin, which is this one, this concealer, which is my favourite. Um, and I'm just blending everything all together really nicely with a beauty blender. Obviously I want this makeup to last all day, um, but still look radiant and natural. So I did also prime with the Emberleaf cream. So I'm just going to run you through quickly everything. I'm not going to be sat here taking you through a full get ready with me because I don't know whether you guys would like to see that or not. But I'm also going to run you through what I'm taking in my handbag for my Longchamp um, bag. I think that's how you pronounce it, Longchamp. I have one of the organisers from Amazon, which I'll show you through before I go. I am kind of running late. I haven't really got much time to get ready, to be fair. I had all the time in the world and then... <laughs> You know when you sit there and think, oh I've got so much time, and then time just flies by and all of a sudden I need to be at the train station in an hour. Um, however, my makeup isn't going to take that long, it's just the faffing around that takes the longest I find. Hair will obviously be fine because I've slept in uh, heatless curlers overnight. Anyway, okay, enough rambling. Um, I'm going to continue getting ready and I will probably see you closer to the end of my get ready with me. Um, I'll put you on a little time lapse as I do get ready. So I will speak to you guys in a second. eyeliner approval. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go try it. This is literally the best feeling.
Okay, so your gal is ready. Um, I'm just putting some more of the Huda Beauty powder under my eye just to tidy up any like any eyeshadow that may have fallen. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it under there to make for a second. I don't usually make, but I am going to today as well because I do think it's gonna really help to brighten my under eye throughout the day as well. So yeah, this is a step. I never do this. I hope I'm not going to regret this. I'm not gonna leave it on for very long. Um, but I'm gonna do what the beauty influencers do. They do this, don't they? <laughs> they must do it for, all I can think is they must do it for a reason, so they do it. A little bit in there to get rid of that shine, but I want the glow on my forehead, just not in between my brows. This already feels disgusting under my eyes, so. Instantaneously, instantaneously, is that a word? Fluffy brush, and let's brush away, but kind of press in at the same time. Okay, actually, to be fair, that looks a lot brighter. Um, and really pretty, actually. Okay, same for this area. This is the time now where I look at my face and I think, is everything okay? Um, one thing I have noticed is I do, one thing that I do like to do is kind of blend my bright under eyes, like my bright under eye powder in with my blush a little bit so it isn't pink white. Um, so I take a very low pigmented blush that's very similar to this one, which is, this is the MAC one. Um, I take a tiny bit on here um, and I'm actually going to mix it with a little bit of this one. So let's go. So a little bit of this, this side, remember this I got it, to a little bit of this, bang, bang. And I'm just kind of pressing it onto the top of my cheek going into my eye and then with anything and after I've done this a few times there's like obviously hardly any product left then I'll take it under the eye to blend up. Now automatically I don't know whether you can see this in here but in my mirror I can see that this is a lot more seamless now. It's kind of like my little trick. I know a lot of people do this in different ways on TikTok I've seen but this is the best way that I've managed to find doing it that isn't giving me a pink under eye because I don't want a pink under eye. I just want like a seamless blend. I personally wear makeup to enhance my natural looks as opposed to hide them if that makes sense. So anything I can do to make things look a lot more seamless. I'm not saying I'm against wearing makeup. I love wearing makeup. I love all things like that. Um, but I do it for fun and I do it to enhance not hide. Which I think is like which I think is a really healthy way of thinking about makeup. So things I'm taking with me makeup wise, my lip liner, my lipstick and my Dior lip oil. Um, I am going to take this brush and this powder with me. Um, I may take, thing is I take all this stuff and I never end up using it but I may do today. Um, I'm going to take an eyebrow brush with me. I think that's all the makeup I'm going to take to be fair. I do end up taking all this stuff with me most of the time and it's just, I end up carrying it for absolutely no reason so that is all I'm going to be taking with me today. Let's now choose my outfit or do I show you what I'm going to take you in my bag? I'm t I'll show you what I'm taking in my bag first, hang on. <laughs> because I feel like the packing in my bag is extremely important at the beginning now before I faff around with makeup and jewellery and stuff just so I know that I'm not forgetting anything that I want to be taking. Um, I'm obviously sitting on the train for hours so I need entertainment while I'm there too. So what I have got with me, I'm going to undo my bag first so you can see exactly how... I have it. I'm hoping you can anyway. So can you see, I've got, so can you see this? I've got um, an Amazon divider. So if you've got a tote bag, this will literally fit any tote bag. I'm going to leave it linked in the description box down below. I think it was $14.99 from Amazon, as in one four, not four zero. It is life changing. Um, so inside of here, fluffy socks for the way home, potentially the way there as well. <laughs> um, I am wearing flaps today. I'm being extremely sensible. Um, I have a perfume. Now I take the black opium everywhere with me because it's such a thin size. Um, this is fantastic just to fit into one of those little pockets. I have hand sanitizer. That's what this that one's from Beauty Pie. Um, I've got a molten brown hand cream that came in an advent calendar I got this year. My purse. <laughs> um, I have AirPods again for entertainment purposes. I do actually want to clip them. I have a little travel handbag hairbrush. It's not the best hairbrush in the world, but it is travel size, so it is perfect for the job in hand. Spray on SPF. This one is from La Roche Posay. I think that's how you pronounce it. A hair claw clip always. <laughs> Sunglasses always, but these are my everyday ones. I may change them out today for something a little bit more bougie, potentially. We'll see what it what it looks like with the um, outfit on later. Vlogging camera, not the one that I'm currently filming on. This one is a much, this is much smaller and more pocket friendly. Um, 
I prefer the one I'm shooting on now, although I always prefer the quality actually on this one. I don't as I'm shooting it, I look in the viewfinder and I think, oh, not so great. Um, but actually, I prefer this one in terms of quality when I come back to edit. The only thing that this is horrendous for is you can only film five minutes at a time on 4K on 4K videoing and the whole thing decides to shut down and die. The camera dies really quickly, so I've got a spare battery with me today. Um, but in terms of just having a pocket digital in terms of having a pocket digital camera <laughs> that shoots in 4K, this one is actually really good. That's the Canon one. So that's coming with me because vlogging the day obviously and spare battery because needs must. Um, I might actually put that in the zippable compartment, the battery actually, because it's quite an important piece of my tech. I always travel with, I say travel with, this is my everyday handbag, this is always in my handbag, but a million hair ties because I take this to the yard with me as well. The majority of the, the amount of times I get to the yard and I haven't got a hair tie to, um, you know, ride in, I now have no excuse. <laughs> um, I also have lots of these little, um, perfume samples because I never know because obviously it's quite nice to complement handbag perfumes with what you put on originally so I've got lots of different options that one's just a little Dior sample one everything on that side of the handbag and then on this side of the handbag I've always got lip oils and lip treatments I'm going to not take this one today because I'm going to be taking my Dior one but I am going to keep this one from the way home this is my like everyday lip balm that one's from Too Faced um, I'm not going to take these two today because I don't need to take them so anything I don't need to take today I'm not going to because otherwise my handbag is going to be ever so heavy but I always just take a little mini size mascara around with me and a mini um, lip balmy lip gloss this one's from NARS and it's like a tinted one another claw clip I'm only going to need one claw clip let's be honest I like having multiple when I take my handbag for the every day but today is a long day um so i don't need things i'm not going to use essential these i get from amazon if you end up getting blisters pop these at the back of your shoes i'm wearing comfy loafers today but i haven't worn them that often and i haven't worn them for a long period of time you stick these at the back blisters be gone the things i have is a notebook and pen because i always like to have a notebook on hand in case i have ideas in case i have things that i want to jot down um and i will be doing some work when i am on the train today power bank good point is I need to get a charger <laughs> charger secured from underneath my little makeup station here so power bank and charger I need to make sure that actually works before I go should I do that now but it's always so temp I feel like phone chargers are so temperamental as to which ones work and which ones don't work um okay so next things obviously is the makeup that I wanted to be taking with me today so taking my kindle with me today too um just so again I've got entertainment on the train it's like to have on your shoulder I mean it isn't a light handbag today because I'm going out for the whole day but it's nothing too heavy or strenuous I'm taking my hair out as the last thing I would take it out on the train but I haven't got room with me today to carry and keep the whole thing going on um Apple Watch today because apparently watch crime is at an all-time high in London um, so any nice watches you have or any even watches that look nice apparently aren't worth the risk of taking according to my according to my boyfriend um, so Apple Watch it is um, okay just for fun I'm gonna have one more spray of this because I just don't want my makeup to go anywhere today that's that, it's now time to sort out what I'm going to be wearing outfit wise and I'll, and I'll see you guys in a second because you really don't want to see me um, putting clothes actually on <laughs> quick trip downstairs, I'm being so quick right now, my eyes are already watering I see, this is why I need waterproof mascara um, actually I didn't say that on here, I said that on my TikTok I have used the Too Faced waterproof mascara today my favourite mascara at the moment is the Swede one it is incredible, I'm going to leave it linked down below but I'm not wearing it today because I'm 90, I haven't checked it to be fair but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's not waterproof and the, more, and the more nervous I get, the more my eyes tend to water. And I feel like whenever I have important things going on in the day, like I'm out on a photo shoot or I'm doing this out or the other, or I'm at an event today, my eyes will always water. And then I end up with like little black circles under my eyes, which I don't want today. So I've gone for waterproof to avoid that happening. Um, but the reason that I'm running down the stairs like a crazy woman is I have just remembered I have not yet taken my vitamins this morning. So let me leave it there while I fill up my water bottle. I'm going to run you through my vitamins actually because they've really made a difference. They've really made a difference to my life recently. And I'll explain why in a second. I'm just going to leave you at this very <laughs> crazy angle. My camera is currently like... <laughs> It's currently, so imagine this is like, imagine this is a straight tripod. My camera is currently like this, so you can see me while I actually take 
I'll actually take my vitamins. Hopefully it's um, a pleasant angle. <laughs> Water bottle, I actually want to down this as well in the next hour. I've done one litre already today, but I want to make sure I've got another one in. I never end up drinking very much water when I'm out and about because I'm scared of always needing a wee. So if I have a day out planned, I will make sure to have the majority of the water my body needs before going out so I can pleasurably drink water throughout the day um, as opposed to keeping hydrated, as opposed to like a need of having that much water in my system for the day. I don't know if that work scientifically um but it 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 but it helps me function we're starting with water i recently did a holland and barrett order not an ad um, unfortunately because it would save me a lot of money um but <laughs> um i last week i think i don't know if i actually mentioned it or not in a video yet i probably haven't i have felt so exhausted well i'm not now I, as you can see my energy levels are back um I was not on death's door at all because I, I didn't feel ill, I didn't feel run down, I literally felt fine in myself, but energyless, to the point that I have a, like the most amazing night's sleep, I'd wake up and I think if I sit for two seconds I, and like close my eyes, I'll be gone for the whole day. I was like that for just over a week, which is really unlike me, I'm a, like a morning person, I like to get up and go first thing in the morning. I was the opposite of this, to the point that I didn't even have, like I was just, I had no energy. I thought, what is going on in my body? This is so unlike me. Um, so I did some research and they said, you know, iron deficient, you, you could be iron deficient, um, you know, it could be a dietary thing. And I thought, well, to be honest, I'm not unhealthy. I don't under eat or overeat, but my body probably isn't getting as many nutrients and vitamins as it should to perform at its, you know, optimum level. Um, I used to be majorly into the gym, I used to weightlift all the time. I'm wasting valuable time gabbling on here, but um, there's nothing new here with me, is there? I'm probably going to repeat this in another video coming up because I actually want to explain this more fully. Um, but I could be incorporating more protein into my diet, I could be having more greens and more body fueling um, ingredients in my body, basically. And I thought, well, how's the best way to do this? I hate going to the doctors, and I wasn't in a place where I thought I was bad enough to go to the doctors, if that makes sense. There's people out there that really need these doctor's appointments at the moment, and it's such a difficult job to get a, a, a doctor's appointment that I didn't want to go to the doctors when I could just change my diet up for a week and see what happened, and then go to the doctor, and then maybe go to the doctors the week after if I managed to sort myself out at home. So, what I did was, A, I've really upped my protein intake every day. I'm not tracking calories by any means because I used to do that and it is a downward spiral. It's a very toxic way, I think, personally to live. I now eat intuitively and just eat what my body needs. It's kind of how I like to live my life in a healthy way for me. That's what works for me. So I've upped my protein level. So I am back logging food because for the first, like, five days I wanted to see what my protein level was without tracking and without without trying to add protein very very low which is probably why again everything was low um what i was eating on a regular basis as well my iron levels were like minimum so i upped my protein and i'm now I'm now on the edge of 80 to 110 grams a day, which I think is actually quite a good amount. I'm having a really high protein breakfast in the morning. I'm having a smoothie. Um, I've been using, actually, let me show you this. Again, not an ad. I've been seeing them on TikTok as ads, so I decided to purchase um, because I am an easy sell. <laughs> or easy buy, easy buy, easy sell, easy sell. Um, this is the Free Soul. I think it's from Free Soul Sisters. It's from Free Soul, but their Instagram is Free Soul Sisters. I'll leave everything linked down below. Um, this is a protein powder, but it's um, specific to women and women's hormones etc etc um so it's plant-based it's vegan there's 20 grams of protein in here per two teaspoons so i pop this into my smoothie um and and yeah that's so yeah that's my high protein breakfast every day um also switching things like bagels to the protein bagels but also i also got this from this company as well and it's a greens powder i was terrified the, before the first sip of this because i literally thought it was going to be disgusting um so i mixed it in with fruit juice and actually I can't taste anything and again it's just getting in all of these essential greens um, and essential like ingredients into my body every single day within like three sips which is fantastic um so i've got those so <laughs> so i'll go back to what i was talking about from holland barrett i've got the gentle iron here um this is the highest dose that they had on their website there's 20 milligrams one of those a day magnesium everything online said you're lacking in magnesium obviously <laughs> I am one of those people that does Google things, and Google told me I needed magnesium. Um, but there's no harm in taking it. It's really good for um, supporting bones and muscles. It reduces tiredness and fatigue. I've been taking these. Again, I'm probably about five or six days in now. And after two or three days of upping my protein, 
upping my nutrients and taking supplements to help get extra, changed girl, back to normal, um, back on top of the world and I'm really hoping that I don't fall off of track or routine now because I feel so good. But I also did get some turmeric at the same time because apparently that's, I think that's really good for like skin. Um, this here says um, it's good for joint health, well I can always do a little bit of joint health because I do, I'm like, I'm 25 and 24, 23 days time. Um, and did I say 24 or 25? I'm 25 and 23 days time. Um, and sometimes I do get up and I feel like I'm a hundred year old woman. Um, and I also did get some pre -bi pre probiotics, sorry, prebiotics. And I also got the ginger shots and probiotic shots from Ocado, but I think they sell them in like Waitrose and um, M&S. They were on offer down from six pounds for a seven day bottle, which I think is pretty expensive, down to like four pounds. So I thought that's quite good to try. So I'm taking all of those and I feel on top of the world. So I'm just gonna take my supplements now after talking about them for seven minutes. This is why my videos end up so long because I just end up on a tangent. Um, hopefully an interesting tangent on that side, just in case anybody else has just been feeling really fatigued and just oh my god flat is probably the the best way to describe it also i don't find these tablets difficult to swallow even the turmeric doesn't taste it's really the worst tasting one but it doesn't taste of anything the rest of them literally taste of absolutely nothing so they're fine and they have no aftertaste either nor does the turmeric so while i'm in the kitchen i'm going to be sorting snacks to take with me as well because i do want some kind of I do want some snacks um, on the train. I do know there's food when I get there. I think there's wine when I get there as well, which I'm probably not going to have. But um, the food and canopies, I definitely will be. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm not a medical uh, professional, so don't take any notice off me. Um, but this is just what's helped me. And I think it's good when something helps you, it's good to share something, you know? I hope, anyway, this isn't me trying to blow my own trumpet, but I hope I give good value to influencing does that make sense like i don't want to be flogging things that don't like i don't want to be influencing you to ever buy anything that doesn't work i've turned down lots of deals in the past as well i feel like every influencer does this for validation but i actually genuinely, genuinely have turned down many deals in the past that are offering me all this kind all these kinds of monies to promote all this rubbish basically which i won't do and also i don't want to be receiving things that i don't use either especially as i am a hoarder I'm not going to be throwing it away, I'm going to be keeping it, so why would I want it, <laughs> you know? I'm going to get some snacks sorted. Oh god, snack game is, it's, it's low, it's, um, is it low, is that the word I'm looking for? Snack game is rubbish, basically. Um, I mean, not rubbish, rubbish, but it's the last day of my food shop that my food shop lasts too, so we're like, we're at the very, so we've just got the, um, like the last packets of stuff. I was going to take a packet of Snacker Jacks with me, but I just don't want to be that person on the train that opens a really smelly packet of crisps, you know, like smelly food. So I've got a 10 gram protein fiber one bar. These, I'm saying I don't count calories, I don't, but how they fit 10 grams of protein into an 80 calorie or 87 calorie, I think is it 80, 87 calorie bar that actually tastes good. I will never know. They're expensive, but it's three pounds for three, so they're a pound each, and they're very small. But um, I thought I'd try them this week on my um, food chip order, and they, are, and they are actually pretty good. Um, and the chocolate ice gems, not nutritious, goes against everything that I just said, but um, sometimes, but this is necessity, in my opinion. <laughs> Right, I need to go and put my ring doorbell back on the, the door because I'm going out today and I'm expecting parcels and it died last night. Um, then I'm going upstairs to sort my hair and my outfit, so Lego. <laughs> okay, okay, outfit choice of the day. Oh god, this is the most awkward angle ever, hang on. Is that better? Not particularly. Um, where can I put you? It's going to be better. As long as it's not too dark. Now you can't really see anything, hang on. It'll have to do. But anyway, underneath, I've got this Holland Cooper vest on. Oh, I don't know whether I am doing the right thing here. I don't know whether I should be going for a long sleeve bodysuit so that I'm warmer. Do you think I should do that? I don't want to get cold, but I also don't want to feel too stuffed up. So I'm going to risk it. I haven't done it up yet, but this is from Holland Cooper. These are really, really lovely basics. They're expensive. Um, I bought this myself, actually. I know I work with them, but this I bought before I started working with the... Um, roll neck long sleeve version to it which again bought with my own money and i love um so this is going underneath i'm gonna do my perfume next just while i've got my skin exposed i'm gonna be layering because i fancy being bougie so so starting off with my favorite perfume of all time especially for the colder months this literally smells the sexiest but coziest perfume ever and this again is the exact same it's less strong and sexy as this but it's still wonderful so i think the two mixed together are going to be insane so this is the k ali um invite only amber 23 
I actually got two bottles for Christmas. I didn't expect my boyfriend to get me this. <laughs> so I asked my granddad for it and he got it for me. And then Jack surprised me with it as well because apparently he went back through my TikToks to see what my favourite um, perfume was. And this is his favourite one on me as well. So I told you about the watch situation, haven't I? Okay, I'm spraying quite a bit because um, I want it to last all day long. Oh god, that smells so good. Um, and then, yeah, mixing it with the KLE Kylie Van uh, Vanilla 28. Okay. I smell... <coughs> Went straight down my throat. Smell like a dream. And also, while I have my skin on show, I'm going to jewellery up. So, these here are my favourite earrings ever. They're from um, Ana Luisa. I worked with them last April, I think it was. I think I... Yeah, because I, I did the photos while I was in Paris. Um, these are my most worn earrings ever. I will leave them linked. It's not an affiliates link and it isn't an ad. I wear these, oh my god, whenever I'm wearing earrings. I will 90, I'm going to say 97% of the time because sometimes I do switch it up. Um, these are just the perfect gold hoops that are just perfect. They're the perfect size. They're a classy kind of size. I don't know. They're just, there's something about them. Next up, bracelet that my wonderful boyfriend bought me for Christmas. It's from Louis Vuitton and I love it. Why are bracelets so difficult to put on? I feel like by now there should be a contraption out there that makes it easy to put bracelets on. Maybe there is, maybe I'm missing a trick here. Which maybe Amazon, it. everything's on Amazon. Right, okay, oh, that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna put, does this and this go together? Because I bought this one for myself the year before. Oh, that looks really pretty together. Um, this one is from Dior. I'll show them up close in a second. But I treated myself. So the first um, equestrian vlogmas I did, I literally wore myself out. So um, for, that's why I didn't really do it big time this year. I did it every other day, I think. But I can't remember now. Um, but I treated myself to this Christian Dior um, bracelet to say well done. Because <laughs> honestly, I was, Christmas Day, I was just, I was wiped out and I didn't actually end up, I don't think, enjoying. I think I ended up being asleep most of Christmas Day because it was the first day off I'd had in ages. And I slept from, I think, <laughs> I fell back asleep at like 9am. Um, I was at home on my own until dinner that evening, but I didn't wake up till 6pm when dinner was served at 6.30, so then I had to race to my family. So that is why I didn't do that this week, this year. Come on back to front. I put the LV sign going one way and the CD sign going the other, but I do think they look really, really pretty on my wrist. Um, I bought this for myself in Paris, and I think I might put that on today as well. This is just from Louis Vuitton. This is actually their cheapest bracelet, um, and it's really, really lovely. It's got the... Um, the stamp, it's got the original Louis Vuitton monogram on it. Um, it looks really pretty. I'm not taking any form of designer handbag with me today, I'm just taking my Longchamp because um, if I lived in London I would just take a cute small bag on my shoulder, but I don't, so I need necessities for the day. I think that looks really nice. What do we think? I think that looks quite cute. Um, rings? Where's my rings? I started wearing rings. These are just super cheap ones. I think these are from Primark or H&M. So I do want to get some nicer ones and like invest in some nicer ones. That one's the tighter ones that can go on there. But they're kind of, they're kind of quite cute. I'm just, I just love gold jewellery. I've always been a gold jewellery girl. So the fact that it's all in fashion now is wonderful for me. Okay, so jumper. I'm wearing anything caramelin, which I do feel a bit bad about. But I don't, I only have two dresses, which are far too dressy for this occasion. So I've got this Zara striped jumper, which I do think is going to keep me cosy and warm. <laughs> so difficult putting anything on with a scrunchie and no makeup. Fabulous. Um, I'm going to see what it looks like at the end, because obviously this is a very chilled outfit. So I'm going to try and dress it up the best I can. But I do want to be cosy for the day and kind of just look neutral I don't know I'm gonna have a look once it's on this is my vibe anyway this is the idea that I'm going with if it doesn't work I haven't really given myself enough time for it to not work <laughs> planning on wearing them with these leggings from Zara with these loafers also from Zara so let me put these on and <sighs> this dress <laughs> yes I'm changed I hated it once it was on I didn't hate it that's a lie that's a bit extreme I I looked like I was going out shopping with friends for the day or going to grab a coffee as opposed to going to an event that I really wanted to make an effort to in an understated way because I've never been to one before and I'm really excited and really nervous and didn't want to look out of place I don't know how dressy people are going to be going so I've now gone very very me I've gone very very neutral 
I'm in this beautiful cashmere jumper from Lily Silk. I'll leave this link because I actually do still have a discount code for Lily Silk. I'm pretty sure it's Scarlet 12, but I'll leave it linked in the description box. Um, I'll show you in a second, but I have these Zara trousers on, you know, the ones that everyone goes mad about in the beigey more, in the, in the more beigey colour. My shoes will now be these loafers from Zara, which are the most comfortable shoes in the world. And I'll show you my coat. Let me take my hair out and then I'll show you the final look in the mirror out there. Um, Shoes on. It hasn't worked. I'm in dire trouble and just have to rock it and or put it back in a claw clip or low bun for the day. <laughs> let's soon. Let's find out. Um, I bought this one on TikTok shop actually. It was twenty seven ninety nine, but it's I'm pretty sure it's silk, not satin, and it is the most comfy one that I've um, slept in. I think it's called Eternal Muse, the company. Um, it had like every video they have has like millions of views on, so I thought, well, I'll try that. Right. Okay. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Before I came through, I'm just going to put some of the um, Jeezy oil, Jeezy, I think that's how you pronounce it, through my ends. What's it looking like, guys? Am I okay? Am I good to go? I am going to brush it through. I know it's going to drop if I do that, but I just need to make sure that it's all good. And I can't stand, I can't personally stand like a brushed hair. I don't know, it's not looking like horrendous, is it? Which I wouldn't usually do on the day to day, but I am going to do it today. This is the um, dry volume and texture spray from from Living Proof, and it is just going to add that volume back into my hair as this hair was washed yesterday. But I obviously slept in the colour, and it does lose volume. I might just add extra volume all over and then brush it through so it doesn't go. Like clumpy or dry. I feel like that looks better. I feel like the white background isn't actually showing how much of a difference that's made. Let me put in better lighting now. Like I don't feel like it looks horrendous now. I don't know why it looks yellow over there. Hopefully that's just what it looks like in my viewfinder. Um, but yeah, I think that, I actually think it's done a pretty good job today. To be fair, I'm not too mad at that. So put it back in there. <laughs> Rings back on again. I think I put this one. On that one. Now let me put my coat on and I will show you my outfit and then at least I'm ready. Oh, let me put the hat back on that otherwise I'm not going to remember to do that. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus, let's go and look at my outfit. <laughs> so before I put my coat on, I have gone for the Lily Silk Cashmere Jumper, which looks like this. That's how, that's the length of it, um, but I like to kind of roll it up, which I'll do properly in a second when I'm got both hands so I can zhuzh it around a little bit more. But I have these Zara trousers on. Just super cute, very, very comfortable loafers. I'm hoping not everybody is in like ball gowns and dresses because obviously I am not. <laughs> I'm not even taking high heels because I obviously have to walk quite away. Um, if I had decided to drive up, I would be in a completely different state right now. I'd have, I'd have shoes, I'd have an outfit change, but because I have to sit on the train for hours, I'm going as nicely comfortable as I can. Okay, still no jacket on, but I've just tucked the cashmere jumper in. What do we think? I've pulled it out a little bit. I think that looks, I feel like that looks a little bit more put together and I might actually try rolling the sleeves up as well. Hang on to Okay, I'm just putting you there for a second. I just want to look, I just want it to almost look a little tiny bit more chic as opposed to cosy casual, um, as opposed to once or twice. Ooh, twice. This looks better, guys. You have the slightest amount of time to zhuzh and faff. Yeah, that is so much better. Okay, let me show you now. I feel like automatically that has just made a massive difference to the outfit. Um, like all together, I just feel a lot, like all together automatically I feel a lot better. And next up for the coat, um, I've got this extremely large but very beautiful, very beige <laughs> coat from Zara. Get my hair out, necklaces forward if I can, necklaces forward if I can. Oh, I feel that looks so much better even with the sleeves rolled back in terms of jacket. Um, oh my goodness, this looks so much better now. I'm so much more happy. Um, yeah, this is now the fit. I could maybe put a scarf on the top to add some more colour. Shall I see? Shall I see? Shall I go and grab a scarf? I have like five minutes. Two seconds. Let's just have a look at some scarves. Colour palette wise, I have two choices of scarves. I've got a darker, kind of, I've got a more dark brown Gucci scarf 
and I have my Burberry scarf. Let's have a look. Okay, let's try Burberry first. I haven't obviously judged it right, but I think that goes really nicely with the colour palette, to be fair. It just adds an extra dimension to the outfit. Oh no, it's the Gucci, I think. I think, I don't know. Let me do one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> what do we think? I think this, I think, in the mirror, let me show you around, like, let me show you this way. I think, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Does that work? Hopefully that works. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think it's this. I think this has just added an extra touch of something to the outfit, I think. Yeah, I think it's this. Because it just adds an extra, as opposed to being too beige, it doesn't add anything like that. Anyway, my lift's here, I have to go. This is what I'm going like, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Hey guys, so I've just got onto the train and I've set up my little station. Um, I have just sanitised my hands and I've got my Kindle out, I've got my little sticks out. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to getting to get, just really looking forward to getting there now. Um, I had a coffee in the um, train cafe, which was just 1 out of 10. <laughs> Definitely still nervous, but um, but I'm super excited now. So we've got a spare seat next to me at the moment as well. So fingers crossed that stays the same all the way there. Um, and hopefully it's a bit more than empty train getting there because I don't want it. It's like a peaceful train journey now. <laughs> So I have just got off on the train um, and I was going to Uber down but I know exactly where it is now that I'm going um, and it's literally like one lane and it's literally like one road off of Oxford Street so um, I've got two hours until the event starts because I'm nice and early um, and London is so lovely and sunny today so I'm going to the Bakerloo line and I'm going to get the tube down I know where I'm going and save some money on an Uber and save some time because it's literally like 10 minutes I think in the on the tube, so I'm hoping I'm going the right way. I'm gonna get back out just to make sure I am because this is very empty where I'm going. <laughs> very good at this. Okay, I was going the right way, but I was taking the um, escalator instead of walking down the steps, so I've done the exact same thing. I reversed out. I have made my way here, so now I'm looking for Bakerloo Land. I'm such a um, such a novice when it comes to the tube. <laughs> I literally never do this. I paid now anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, I am right. Thank you. <sighs> so excited to get out on to do some shopping and just some I want to go into Selfridges actually um, and try some sunglasses because I'm going to Monaco shortly. Um, and I might treat myself to a Monaco birthday present, seeming as. I don't know, I feel quite proud of myself. Oh, I don't like this. This is like going down really soon. Um, View. Okay guys, so I've arrived in very sunny London. I need to go and fetch my um I need to fetch my sunglasses up and have my go things in a minute. Um, it is the most beautiful day. I'm not actually feeling that cold yet. Um, I've just got out of Oxford so I can station and onto um, Oxford Street, but I'm at the wrong end, I think, for Selfridges. So I've got about a 10 minute walk down through Oxford Street. Um, oh my goodness, look how good that chocolate looks. Um, I may do some window shopping here as well to so pass some different shops. I'm feeling really adult today actually. This is the first time I've brought myself to London on my own unless it's for a flight um, and if I'm like flying from a London airport. This is the first time I've probably come in on my own like to not meet friends as well. I have friends that live in London and I've been to London to like have travel on my own to meet them but this is like the first time I've come on my own and I feel like this has been the easiest day ever and I can't believe I don't do this more often. <laughs> I know it might sound silly, but the train cost me £27 return. I'm not sure which, how much um, a tube is per way, um, but it's not anything ridiculous. And it took me two and a half hours to get here, so I think this is um, a pretty epic way to spend a day sometimes, you know, I think it's great fun. 
a huge H&M in there which I might go in on my way back through if I have time. Molten Brown. It's actually my boyfriend's birthday at the weekend, so I should maybe pop in there on the way back as well and get him some goodies. These are the comfiest shoes. Liberty. What beautiful is that building? Also just spotted a hitch in home, so definitely heading in there as well. Well, I've managed to get myself very lost, but in a very nice area. <laughs> So I've been doing some shopping, not shopping shopping, I haven't bought anything, but I've been going into some shops. This area is stunning, I'm on Regent Street and it is unreal. So I figured out what I've done. Um, a, I should definitely be using Google Maps. Um, but B, because I kind of knew where I was heading, um, I did go into H&M Home and stupidly went out of a different door, which must have been on a different side. <laughs> so I ended up on a different road. Continued walking in the direction I thought I was originally walking in. Um, turns out negative. And I'm now an extra 20 minutes from Selfridges. So I'm walking back in the area that I am. So basically I'm walking back the way I came from. <laughs> Right, back to where I originally started, at the tube station. I turned wrong at the very beginning. <laughs> I've just been walking around for 30 minutes, getting my steps in. Um, <laughs> and starting off where I originally started. Um, but anyway, there's no surprise there for me. Just typical. <laughs> I am now on Oxford Street. Um, definitely not as pretty as where I've just been. But I have to walk 10 minutes now on this road to reach South Wales, apparently, according to Google Maps. Which I am definitely keeping on now for the rest of my day. <laughs> Definitely less pretty, this bit. Right guys, I have made it, finally I'm here. So it's now time for some shopping and some looking around. I'm just so glad I finally got here after all this walking and my feet are still absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, and I don't have any socks on either, they're still fine. <laughs> So I'm actually going to shoot straight into Louboutin because I do want to try one of their perfumes um, and then try and find the section with like all the sunglasses um, because there's some Celine ones I want to try on and some wear self. And now this is a store, I know my way around. Okay guys, so I'm just going in for the accessories haul, so I'm hoping I'm going to find sunglasses and then I'm going to the food haul because I need food and then I'm going to go to the event. Right, first up Celine, this is what I wanted to try. Uh, which ones is it? I think it's these or these that I want to try, so I'm going to try both. Okay, these are really nice. I love these. They are like classy. These are nice too, but I do think I prefer the other But I'm going to try and wear a cell before I make them times. Okay, apparently wire cells accessories are on the second floor, so I'm going to go to the food hall and get something to eat because I am absolutely ravenous. All I've had today is a smoothie. This is so cool in here, honestly. I'm obsessed. And then I need to go back to Penn Halligan's in here, thankfully, um, because they do have the very last sports car club left, which is my boyfriend's favourite scent. Um, it's limited edition and it's never going to be made again, so they've got one left, so I think I'm going to get that for him. Um, and then to the event. I'm so excited for food. I see cake. Oh my goodness me, I actually haven't been to the food hall here before. Yeah. Okay, I made it up. Okay, this is literally the best cupcake I've had in my life and I really want a big one now, but I'm being good. Um, and I do have one holiday very, very soon. <laughs> but look how cool this is. There's loads of protein powders, collagen shots. So this is such a cool place to come. I mean, I'm obsessed. Also, I can show you, these are the shots that I have every morning. I have the probiotic one and then the ginger shot version in this size and it's very, very good. 
So I've just bought myself a trip drink. It's the first time I've actually ever tried them. My favourite is Zimmerman. I am dreaming of the day where I can walk in here and buy a dress and not even think about it. It will happen, just uh, not yet. <laughs> YSL. Very unpopular opinion coming. I've just smelt the Lalabo Santel 33. I'm not a fan. Okay, here we go. This is where I need to be for sunglasses. <sighs> Let's try some on together, guys. Okay, so these are the ones from the scene that I wanted to try, but in the shell. shell. Um, they are really, really lovely, but I actually really like the ones that I tried on earlier. Kind of a bit of a. I like to grow me back. But I do think it's really nice. Okay, so these are from YSL, but these aren't the ones that I was originally on, but they not the ones that I wanted today. So I'm going to stop in here actually, I'm not that mad about it. Okay, these from Chanel are very, very nice. I've seen these on TikTok actually. Besides, they're so cool. These are nice, they're not what I'm after though. I think it's the original Celine ones I tried on earlier in the store. No idea how I'd really find that either. Right, 11 minute walk to the event. My toes are starting to, well, I could just have like, I've, I'm starting to the point where I could now do the sit down. And I actually didn't buy anything in there. Um, I, I, th I think I will get those sunglasses, but I might wait until I'm in Monaco just because then you get the tax off of them. Um, I've got Jack's, um, I bought my boyfriend's perfume. I'm currently trying to cooperate with my Google Maps as to where I'm going. And it's currently 4.02, so I'm two minutes late now. <laughs> I've got 11 minutes to walk. All I had was that small cupcake. I looked at everything else and it looked huge. I don't know what food's going to be at the event. I'm just so hungry. Um, the drink did fill me up, actually. It wasn't too bad. It's very minty. I will say that much. And I don't feel any different for having it, but I don't know. I've never really had to. I've never taken CBD before, so I'm not sure what the effects are supposed to be and how quickly they're supposed to be. Um, like a happening. But anyway, 10 minutes left now on my walk. And yeah, back down Oxford Street to the other end, back to where I came from. And then I'm pretty sure where I'm going is like two minutes from the um, tube back to Waterloo for my 9 pm, uh, my half nine, I think it is, my train back tonight. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the sunglasses, but in the same breath, um, I can shop for the wall. Okay. okay guys, I'm now a two minute walk away. I think I've got to go one up. I'm such a novice about that, it's actually ridiculous. Okay everybody, I am currently one street away from the event and I'm now getting very excited. And I'm only about 10 minutes late, so it's all good. It's um, a first come, first serve for duck and dry manicures. So I'm hoping to be one of the first come, first serve as I've really loved a duck and dry manicure. Okay, so it's just around this corner on the left, apparently. I'm actually really excited now. I'm glad I've had a couple of hours in London. Um, I've had such a lovely day even before the event started. It's been so lovely. The weather is perfect. Who would I catch? Okay, so now I'm looking for. Oh, I see it. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Okay, I see Karen Millen. Are we ready, guys? Walking on the road about to get run over, I'm sure. I'm literally like a deer in headlights. I shouldn't be allowed out of the house, to be perfectly honest. But here it is the Karen Millen pop up. How exciting is this? Oh my goodness. I literally smell of Selfridges. I've got about a million different um, perfumes on. But here we are. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, here we are. Look at this. So this is floor one. And then as we go downstairs, there's a rosy bar. Um, it literally looks amazing. This dress is stunning. Hi, oh, I, I would love one. Thank you very much. What is this one? It's like a gauche and pietar. Oh, amazing, thank you. Wow, look at this, guys. How beautiful is this dress? Wow. 
Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, everything is so beautiful. Literally stunning. Look at that. Okay, let's go downstairs. Oh my goodness, every time I touch the railings today, I'm getting an electric shock, and that's the most annoying thing for me ever because I'm I have like a massive fear of falling and have to hold the stairs. <laughs> All three stair bridges, I'm getting like electric shock after electric shock. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this shirt, it's stunning. Oh my goodness me. <sighs> Look at that for a cover. -up. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with that. Wow. So I have a long left the event. Um, I've got a couple of hours actually until I need to get my train home. So I'm just in H&M having a little wander around. And then I feel like I should find some post ops with circus um, to have dinner. So I need to have a Google to see where I want to go to be fair. My feet are starting to hurt so it's seeming as I've literally been sockless all day long now. Um, so I should really feel like a bit cold and windswept but I'm not to be, but to be fair I'm actually not. Um, but yeah, I should really go and get some food at some there. So I may end up Ubering to find food because finding anything in the dark and it's like rush hour. It's so busy on the streets now as well, whereas it wasn't earlier. Um, so I feel like I should Uber to wherever I want to go with food. I've had really good things about Cachonis, Cachonis, Cachonis. Um, so I think I might head there for dinner. Okay guys, so I'm currently choosing where to eat that's around Oxford Circus, but I've never been into Liberties and I feel like I should give it a oh, give it a go while I'm here. Not sure who's being beeped at. Um, and then choose somewhere up there to eat, sorry, <laughs> to eat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little look in Liberties first. <laughs> Thank you. 